Hello, welcome back to another episode of Princess SMP. This uh, conversation between Lorelia and I um, will happen today because it's the day I'm supposed to bring Andrew's head, which I obviously do not have. Um, Dear Princess Maholia, I have received your letter regarding an official meeting between us to discuss justice for my sister. I would be willing to listen to what you have to say on the condition that it is only you and I that attend no nights, no escorts. I'm not willing to risk my safety in these dangerous times. Please propose a date that time would be suitable. And I will choose the location. Princess Lorelia. I... Um guess I will tell her I'm ready now. I can't spell. Great. <sighs> okay. Um... I'm ready. <sighs> oh, I don't need to do that. I forgot. Did you bring me his head? Um, is there a more private place we can discuss things? Yes, we can, if you'd like to follow me. more up. <laughs> Just in here. Well, did you bring me his head? I... I don't have it, no. And why would that be? I have an explanation for why I do not have his head. Better be a good explanation.
I am not Maholia. Uh, what? Do you think I'm stupid? I... <clears throat> There's a book in your re restricted section that I think we should grab to better explain. Uh, and how how do you know of this? Uh, Ira brought it to me. She found it. She And she brought it to me since it's related to the elves. And she didn't tell me? I... I don't, I don't know if she... I didn't know if she informed you or not. I just... And what would this book be called? It's called The Twin Curse. The Twin Curse. Is it this one? Yes. It's this one. If you well. want to read it for a minute. Okay. Would you like me to read it out loud? That's fine. It is very rare for an elf to be born, and each self that is born is more precious than gold. What is even more rare are twins. While twins are a blessed treasure amongst common folk, a royal set of twins is an omen of death and destruction. If royal twins are born, the younger one must be brought to the nether to be thrown into the fiery lakes. Only then can the kingdom be cleansed of the twin curse. I don't see how this proves that you're not Maholia. I I am Maholia's twin sister, Melody. And I w my mother, Princess Roisin, gave me up to an orphanage because she did not want to throw me into the nether. I did not know I was a princess until I stumbled across the elven kingdom to find a job and I ran into Maholia. She asked me to dress up as her since we figured out that we were twins so that she could get out of the castle for a night. And unfortunately, um, she passed that same night as well. And I was asked to continue playing her so that no one would know what had happened. And no one would know that the Twin Curse is still active in the Elven Kingdom. How long? How long ago? Um, I've been playing Maholia for about two years. Two, right after two, her coronation. Two years? She's been dead. And some imposter taken her spot, and no one knows. There are a select few people who know only because I have told them recently. I, uh, I don't wish to keep it a secret anymore. I don't wish to keep pretending to be Maholia. I, I just didn't want it to be spread around in some gossip column. How, 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 who knows about, does anyone know about this? Um... The Elven Royals all know about this. Um, as nobody else, though, knows. Okay. Um, this is a lot to process. Is how can I know that you're being fully truthful? Do you have any proof? Uh, a physical proof? I mean, you are the spitting image of her. Um, I guess I So this would I explain don't. why you... We have a memorial nothing. for her, though. Unfortunately, their bodies, when she was found... 
um, she was dressed in peasant clothes, so they thought she was a peasant. They didn't, they just threw her, they did a sea burial like they do with other peasants. They didn't keep her body. Oh. Um, wow. I was not expecting this, but I guess it would explain why you didn't know about Andrew. But that doesn't excuse the fact that I still need justice for my sister. Maholia or not, you are the ruling leader and you are responsible for your people and this justice has not been answered and I will get justice for my sister. So is there something that you propose in place of Andrew's head that would be suitable? Yes, um, I offer mine. Yo. I are you sure? I'm not even supposed to be alive. I was supposed to be killed a long time ago. And the longer I stay alive, the more I realize that I hurt the people around me. So I wish to not hurt anyone anymore. Well, I guess you would be a suitable replacement. There is an option I would like to give you. I am not sure if you're aware, but I have been conducting, let's call it research on ancient spells and enchantments that haven't been seen for hundreds, hundreds of years. And I think I finally figured one out. And I think this could be a more suitable end for you that you might like instead what is it it would well it hasn't been done in many years and i myself have never tested it but i think i finally cracked it and i've been wanting to test it out but i obviously have not had anyone to test it out on but it would result in you being trapped in ice and preserved your body would be preserved you wouldn't be dead you would be alive and conscious as to what is going on around you but you wouldn't be able to communicate with anyone and no one would be able to communicate with you and you would be frozen for eternity eternity but yes but there is one thing there would be a way to get you out theoretically but i personally once the spell has been cast would not be able to help you only a power stronger than that of the law keepers would be able to break the spell i see so, it would be like death. Technically, yes, but you would still be conscious. You would still be there almost, but not quite. But once the wards have been set and the spell has been cast, you would be stuck there until a power greater than that of the law keepers could break the spell but the chances of that happening are extremely rare so and you would rather have me do this than have my head I feel like this would be a more useful use 
let's say, of your death than just simply executing you. I think it would be of great knowledge to see if this would actually work and see if my research has been proven fruitful. All right, then that's fine with me. Okay, well, great. We can get started immediately. Come with me. Uh, actually, <clears throat> is there any way, any way at all that I, it could wait? I know that's a lot to ask. I know I don't intend to run away. I don't intend I'm to... already sparing you from fully dying and you are asking me to leeway the time there are people there are there are things that I must take care of before I leave to ensure the safety of the people I love and care about that is all I have no I have no other intentions than to say goodbye and make sure I leave the people I love in the best conditions as possible. I will not tell anyone. I won't speak about it to anyone. I I just, please, I'll, all I ask is until next week, Friday. I, I, okay, I, I guess that is fair enough, but. If you do not come back within the time, in one week, I will wage war on the Elven Kingdom. Understood. You are to meet me back at the Winter Waystone, just you, no nights, one week from now. Okay. And if you don't, all hell will break loose. I know. I understand. For I am... my sister. I know. Okay. You have one week. Thank you. I promise I will not... I do not wish for war. I will not cause any issues. I, I hope. And I trust Holly that you certainly will... certainly would not. You will not announce this development either. No, this would be out of my interest to announce this. I think that this would cause a lot of chaos that I myself would not be able to handle if I released this information. This stays between us. Yes, agreed. All right, then. One week. I'll see you in a week. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> one week. I have one week to help Morgan with a black servant. One week to get Anthony with Estelle. One week to say goodbye. At least I was granted as much. And they will all think it well. Well, I'm here walking alive, and no one. And the conflict. I forgot to ask. I forgot to ask. Uh, Lorelia. Princess Loralia? Princess Loralia? Yes? Um, I forgot to clarify some things. Are you lifting the ban of elves 
coming to the Winter Kingdom, now that we are in agreement. Yes, elves may return. Okay. And we will voice that the conflict has been resolved? Yes, yes. I, in my eyes, it has been resolved. Okay. All right. Elves are welcome back, yes. Hmm? Elves are welcome back. Okay. Um, then is it all right if I take down those signs that are in front of the window? Oh, yes. I'll, I'll come with you. Okay, the elves are hereby allowed back in the Winter Kingdom. Justice has been served for my sister. Yes, thank I Thank you for your sacrifice. Yes. Well, I will see you in one week. Yes. Oh gosh, I had to make sure that that was clarified. <laughs> okay. Conflict is resolved. No one has to know. No one will know. It'll just be between the both of us. Well, like I said, I didn't need to put all my stuff away. I can use it at least for one more week. I need to find a Kano. Put my stuff back on. And grab my stuff. Inventory situated. Go check the mail. Go find Kano. Update him. He probably doesn't even know I'm back yet, even though he saw me in the castle. I don't know if he knew what I was doing, but I better make sure. I don't know if Annabelle has talked to him yet. I better prepare him for what's coming. Okay. Nothing. Nada. That's what I like to see. All right. Yes, you may come in. Okay, now. Hello, Melody. Oh, you're wearing, you're wearing full outfit. Yes. I don't know if you are aware, but I'm officially back. All right. Um, okay. Well, it, it's it's good to have you back. Uh, does this mean... Um, are we planning to tell everyone the secret? Oh, I... I told Annabelle. Yes, I um, I found that out the other day. Did she talk to you? No, she. Uh, okay, then I might be. Um, she she, she very wants much to talk to me. She, oh, okay. oh, oh. She said she was going to have a long talk with you, but I guess it was the opposite. Probably hasn't happened yet. Um, all I know is that uh, I went. I briefly went to her room. She said something along the lines that she wasn't able to talk with me at the moment and then uh, slammed the door in my face. Oh, so, okay. Perhaps she just wasn't in a very good mood. Um, I'm sure I'll talk with her soon. Though. Yeah, I um, well, obviously, if she wasn't okay with me coming back, I wouldn't have. So, I think I she's think just upset about well, I don't know if you heard, um, but Anthony uh, said things that he shouldn't have said. To yes, her. No, I was told um, about that. I had to deal with um, Kaya. Um, it was an interesting circumstance, to say the least. Um, or Kaya had filled me in somewhat, saying okay. Anthony had accused her of some things, and it was not very well said. So, yeah. I. I understand. 
Yes. So, yeah, I, um, I don't know what to do about it, but she knows the truth now. And so. Right. And that's all I again, can do. I, I think to her credit, we still don't have physical evidence or proof that it's her mother. True. I think it's still a very important thing to consider. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously it wasn't well, ideal I wasn't, presented it to her. I wasn't planning on being like, hey, did your mother send bounty hunters? I just wanted, I wanted Kai. I didn't really want Anthony involved at all because I know how he's like. But he was just <laughs> there listening to the conversation. And I wanted Kaya to ask, you know, casually if she had known anything about her mother not to go just to just to investigate so we could investigate so that we could see if there was a connection not what happened so now i feel like it's whatever information we could have gotten from annabelle we're not going to get um we'll have to look in other places correct um i think that'd be probably the smartest plan but um but either way I'm glad to see that here. I guess what I meant to say when I said, to, are we going to tell people? I meant, I know when we spoke last that you had said when you returned back, you didn't want to be known as Maholia. You yes. wanted to be known as Melody to the people. And so I wasn't sure if you had planned to tell the other elves, the very least, your true identity or not. True. That is true. I, I just didn't want to do it like in an announcement. I felt like that was a little insensitive and I... I, I didn't want to be thrown around in a gossip column either. Mm. So I was telling people slowly about it. That's fair. If that um, feels like it's more prudent for you, then by all means. Otherwise, I'd say if you want, we could, you know, maybe just plan a little get together or something with the other elves and just uh, know, have a good time but and... i don't know if it's n good news i don't know if it calls for a party <laughs> well it's not like it's I'm, I'm not saying a party i'm just saying like it's well i guess it depends it's i don't know if this is quite the same situation as like you know you go out to you know dinner with your family and then you find out your parents are getting divorced or something <laughs> i think this is more of a hey just wanted you to know that i'm not actually the real royal princess you thought that's I was. a lot I'm a that's tell princess the who is person and she's dead. That's a lot. Are you hearing what you're saying out loud? I'm very much aware of what I'm saying. I'm, okay. I'm deliberately poking fun at it a little bit, but I, I guess I just mean, it is definitely a very um, sensitive topic yes. to bring up. And I will. I, yeah. Yeah, I will do it slowly. I. Yes, I will talk to people. Now that all the royals in the elven kingdom know, I will talk to the elven citizens. Kaya knows. I've I told Kaya. Much. Um, so, really, all that's really left is Theo, Charlotte, and Countess Artemis. Right. What about um, um Sir Van Dudier? Sorry? Sir, Sir, Sir Avant. I oh um, I haven't seen the other two knights in a while. Neither has Kaya. I've been meaning to give her some assignments mm. that maybe would hopefully motivate them to be working. Or we might have to search for some new knights. I'm not sure. That's I mean that's highly concerning if that's the case. Did the bull really stop to them that much? I know I know that Sir Avant had been around for a little while sort of lurking about and obviously Night Pink was present but she hasn't given any letter of resignation no they just hmm. have not been around doing duties at all Kaya feels like she's doing everything by herself so I want her to have a team that she can work with right hmm but well, then perhaps to be with yeah I'll, I'll see if I can reach out and plan something if not if, if they really if the bull really scared them that much then we can certainly try and find other knights yeah um the winter kingdom issue i don't know if you've heard i uh 
I heard from Ira um, that something had come up. I heard there was a ban on elves. Yes. Um, because they had found out about what, you know, Anthony had done. They just didn't know it was Anthony. They still think it's this person named Andrew who yes. looks like Anthony. They just can't put two and two together. Um, well, I don't think the Winters have interacted with Anthony that often. Um, fair. So, and I think Lorelia is the only one who knows his face. Um, so, and she has never met him in person. Right. That's fair. But I, I, I knew about that situation. I also... Oh, sorry. I... Yes. My, my apologies. I was very insensitive. I heard that that Solstice has passed away. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Yeah. Thank you. But, um... The issue with Princess Lorelia has been resolved. Oh? And... She may also know the secret of the twin curse okay. of me and Maholia. I see. Um, is this something I should be aware of in order to prepare for anything? No, I don't think... I told her that it's fine that she spreads the information. I told her my wishes, though, that I don't want it to spread like gossip. I don't know if she'll honor them. I don't know how high she values the fact that I told her such a thing. I think it changed mm. her perspective, knowing that I was not indeed Maholia who participated in it. I don't think she believed me at first, too. I think she maybe thought... At first, I knew she thought I was maybe just trying to have an excuse for not knowing what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, but... I think the more that I explained, showed her the books, um, I could tell that she was less hostile when she learned I was not Maholia. That's fair. It does explain quite a lot of what's happened the last few months. Yes. Um, what she decides to do with that information, I don't know, but she did agree to lift the ban. Um, so elves are free to go back to the Winter Kingdom now. All right. Are we, uh, still expected to hand over whoever murdered the heir within the next two days? Or um, however long? No, it's already been two days. Um, Correct. today was the second day. And I have come up with a different solution for that. And so she does not know it was Anthony. I did not tell her so. Um, and I don't wish her to know. Obviously, if she sees Anthony ever, that will be exposed. So I need to speak to him about possibly trying to avoid contact with her in any way, shape, or form. Which I don't think will be too difficult because she's not... <laughs> exactly attending the same things that no, Anthony No, she's not I, I been the most guess. present uh, royalty. Yes. Um, yes, and so... I, me and Ara spoke uh, at length about it because she didn't even consult her before uh, committing to this plan. So I know the winters are a bit frustrated with Morelli at the moment. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, I suppose that's a, a good thing then. And I, uh, again, I, I won't push further, as I can tell you seem reluctant to tell me what exactly transpired between you and the princess. But just know that if there's anything important I need to know, or if at any point you're welcome to tell me, um, I won't ask second questions, um, just to make sure that everything is okay here. Yes, um, I do have some things that I would like to do. Um, that I would like to take care of, and one of them is arranging a marriage for Anthony. Oh, so. okay. Um, I I didn't realize things went so swimmingly. That's uh, that's good to hear. I guess. Well, not with yeah. the Winter Kingdom. Well, no, no. I I I thought you were talking. No, I meant with he he just had to play date with um, with uh, Annabelle and the Netherian heirs uh just the other day. 
Um, yes, my hair went fairly of... well. Well, I'm not. Actually, I was thinking of Estelle, Princess Estelle. Oh. Okay. I, I know... had. Interesting. All right. That, that's um. I think that probably more suitable for him, admittedly. He did talk to me about her, um, and he said he could picture a life living with Estelle. And that was the most... Hmm. I mean, I was shocked by that answer. So that was the most interest that he's put in any of the options that you've right. ever thrown at him. So I, I thought maybe I should talk to Rain and see. I yes. think she's also in favor of the match um, as far that as I'm sense. concerned. Is what I've heard. I haven't talked to her directly right. about it, but yes, I do think it'd be a interesting uh, alliance to say the least, especially considering how close we are with the Navarians. But at the same time, uh, you know, it, anything that would happen between them, I don't think would have to necessarily involve Anthony. Yes, um, well, and also if there's something going on with Annabelle and Karma, apparently. Um, oh, it, these are things I. I was coming back. Well, I was in my office, and they all just appeared. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> I was of course. quite yes. shocked. So, um, I got caught up a tiny bit. Well, all right. I overheard more. I just went invisible and hid in a corner because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> um, That's fair. So, yes, it seems like I don't know. I don't know if there's something there, but apparently there is something slightly there. Don't know exactly what that means. I think that would be up to both Karma and Annabelle. Right. Um, but it doesn't leave the Nether completely out of the question. I just don't want it. Correct. I, for respect for Morgan, don't want her to feel forced to make a marriage alliance with us. Which I think is, is very fair. We've, we've made... An alliance now that's beneficial. Um, mm -hmm. If anything, I was more interested in wanting to get. Uh, I was really just interested in trying to get Anthony out of the castle, and off somewhere where he can learn good skills. Okay. So yeah, I I, I think that's quite you. all right. I think it'd be good for him. He. I agree. That it's it's a hard situation with that man because he, on the one hand is, as you said, someone to uh, tread cautiously around sometimes with secrets because he acts without thinking. Yes. Um, but at the same time, he is a... Uh, he's very ami amicable and gets along well with people. And so he, uh, you know, he, he makes for a good partner. He will gladly assist anyone who's in need. Yes. So, so... Good quality. And I think since we don't really have any connection we have a an alliance with the mermaids an alliance with another no connection to the seraphs this could be a good one right i think i i can get behind that yes um involve quite as much yes i am my brain is blinking I'm a little bit tired. That's right. I oh um I published the book. I there oh. there are definitely errors, and I apologize. I just it's all, I it's didn't right. care I as long as we got the points. I was like, who cares? Just get it out there, sell the copies. That's People fair. will still read it. Hopefully, um, the the task didn't say they needed to read it. They just needed to buy it. So correct. Yes. I um, could have Rick ruled everybody if I wanted to. That's true. You could have just written nonsense. I could have. It. it could have just been complete Morse code. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so, but, yes. Um, I can always give you a copy unless, if you're interested. But I, you know, if you've got any spares, I'm sure I'd love to read them. Um, because, you know, I, I'm curious to see what the story ended up being and how the progression went. Actually, maybe I won't give it to you. <laughs> What do you mean? I kind of painted the advisor as a villain, slightly. 
Well, it's not me. Well, it is not Wait. you. But I didn't want well, no, you to feel you said, offended. You said was different. I did. No, I, I, <laughs> I just didn't want you to feel offended if you read it and the advisor oh, became a villain. No, I, I honestly, I am. Uh, I would not be terribly offended. I, I think okay, that's okay, good. It really, it, it really didn't feel like her story anyway. I it it did inspiration. I feel. But I think it's. Yeah, I felt like the characters were their own, which I'm glad because that means, hopefully, I made good separate characters instead of just yes. copying a story that already exists. No, I, I I believe you did a very good job. From what I could tell, again, I would like to. Uh, yeah. Read the rest um, to get a better <laughs> you it. might change your mind after you read this, the published I mean, version. It's like... No, it's bad. I've I read I read it out loud after I signed it, and after I already had given it out to people, I finally actually read it to myself, which probably was <laughs> not the smartest move. Mm -hmm. Um. And I was like, well, that's an error. That's an error. That's not in the right tense. Uh, but, I mean, I don't think it pulls too much away from the story, but... No. <sighs> yeah, nothing too terrible. drastic, but it... Yeah, it's, it's not perfect. It's right. You know, perhaps... It, it, you know, it's 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 the true story of um, of someone... Well, not really true story. It's, it's, um, it's your, your account to, to offer, so... Yes. Um... Trying to think of anything else I needed to update you on. Um, no, I think I that's it. I, know I don't think so. I already told you what I learned the other day. Um, so no, I don't think there's really anything else that I have to know either. Um, well, that's um. Well, good. Either way, I I'm I'm glad we are telling each other things um and uh i'm sorry i wasn't here when things went down um so that would be uh i know that that was a hard time for all of you um if there's anything i can do please let me know i will did you hear me i will Yes, I did. Oh, I did. okay. Sorry. My my brain was temporarily elsewhere, but yes, I did hear you. Um, all right. <laughs> well, if that's the the case, then um, then I suppose uh, I've got a few things I can handle around the kingdom, perhaps. I've got some fun with you. Oh, I have been working on improving Chromitrin. Okay. Um, in honor of Maholia, and I've been spending some time working with the villagers. I've managed to get many more villagers to come settle there. I've made some buildings. It's a lot more lively than it used to be. Um, I think your sister would have liked it because it just has more people in there now to bring it life. That's good. Did you want to show me? I, I'm. I certainly can. Okay. I would, sure. I would, that's I would fine. gladly do so. So we could just yeah, we can yeah. pop over there. Uh. eyes to see things. I usually start walking around and they usually fix it, but oh. Yeah. Never mind, I'm Take stuck. A moment. There we go. Take like listen to the sound of my voice. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. <coughs> but see, there's lots more people here now. Oh, wow. Yes. You're right. So, uh, so over here, um, again, this isn't the most, um, the most delightful part, but we added a little graveyard. It was the first building I've made. No one else has died since uh, making this graveyard, so it's remained completely unchanged. These are the three villagers who were here originally. Um, Theo, Luciana, and Nash. Um, Aww. But everything's... The originals yeah, have passed? That's what I said. They, well, they, were, they were here a while ago. Hello, Willie. Um, they, were, they, they died uh, due to some zombie attacks early on. Um, and their graves were lurking about. And then I realized you could move from the Silk Touch. And I was like, oh, this makes things so much easier. Oh, you can so use Silk Touch. Them. Yeah, I broke them and moved them over there. So they're all good. Oh, now. I need to do that with some. Okay. Yes. Um, and then, yeah. So then I've turned some of these buildings into other things. This is, a, you know, now a, a large family house. Nice. Lots of people in here. Yeah. Just some... um, got some new workers involved. Um, 
Let's see, there hasn't been much else there at the moment. I've been working with uh, the farmer to get some emeralds for trade. Um, the bees are doing quite well. I found some more to add some more there. Um, this is our inn. Um, all these buildings were made by myself. Um, and then we've got this little guardhouse up here, just for the, the guards to come up and get some extra armor and things like that. Nice. Um, oh, I see. Oh, they are very oh. decked out. Yes. And then over here on the left is our blacksmithy. Um, just kind of simple. I had to put doors in place because the villagers didn't want to open up gates. So. Oh. <laughs> so we have here instead. Um, and then just right over this way is the storage room. And then we also have uh, regular houses as well. But it's really been mostly about it. Um, I've been trying to work on getting it to higher ranks, but it's Ooh, four, you've got 14 emeralds in here. Did you know? Oh, nice. I, I did I did put a light tax. Oh, there's 15 here. Oh, my. There's a lot of emeralds in here. There I put you a go. light tax on them, but they've all been happy, so they've not complained about the taxes. Yes, I, I found out that having low the lowest tax bracket, like the lowest percentage that makes them happier and they end up giving you more anyway so <laughs> exactly so it works out um so I, I i took inspiration from the task we did the other day because i thought it'd be good to uh you know improve this village too because it's been a new year's from tlc for a while so. yeah no it's looking great yeah. so far um thank you on other things um the uh, Cor princess coral would like she just sent me a missive my she oh. and her advisor would like to have a meeting oh well, that's, um, I didn't have anything else more important to do at the moment, so yes, I, I, I'm more than happy to do so. Will I, am I required to be there with you, or is it just for you? I think I'd, if her and her advisor are going to be there, maybe it's best you come along. Right, then I'm more than happy to accompany you. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for her to tell me where she would like to meet, but we can head. Sounds good. Head back. Yes, I think that'd be a good idea. Cool. Okay, I should probably let them know that we're on our way, or that we're here. Good plan. Oh, oh, they're here. Oh. Uh, 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 hello. 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 Good to see the both uh, of you again. It's been a while. Uh, would you follow me to the throne room, please? Oh. Uh, yes. That's fine with us. Um, is it... Are... There is a conduit there, correct? Ye yes, yes, there, there is. is. Okay. All right, wonderful. I did bring a, a magma block in case, uh, so I can breathe. He doesn't have a tail, so... Well, yes, I know. Th they know that. Well... I'm just reminding. Thank you. Are you sure you're fine? I'll just swim above. Well, actually, no. Yeah, I'm fine. I caught it with me. Okay, fine. you got it. Okay. I'm just worried about you, that's all. Well, thank you. I appreciate the concern. I don't want you drowning really deep underwater. <laughs> it's, you know, that that's fine. Be, I would live. It wouldn't be the worst possible thing that's happened to me. I don't know where I'm going. It I'm would be a headache. Before. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's down here, possibly. It's the throne room. Hello, sorry, I, was, I don't know where I'm going. I've never been here before. Yes. We have not. Okay. Hello. All right. Um. So I'm going to be very blunt. You do not listen to what I am going to say right now. The alliance is over, and there will be war. I'm just going to say that right now. Okay. Right. You, you oh. think I am bluffing? Oh. I know things. I know that Maholia was sneaking around the Mermaid Kingdom during the festival causing trouble and doing who knows what. I don't know where you were. I don't know what you touched, but I know that you were here. 
I also have proof. The reason I'm saying this is because you will have uh, Anthony marry my sister Marina if you want to keep this alliance. I also have proof that Kano and Anthony are plotting to have Annabelle take the throne and not you. I received proof. Proof. Yes. Now, I appreciate your threatening tone right now, but this seems a bit out of the blue. I... Do we have a chance to at least reply or retort to what you're saying? I suppose. But I'm All not right. finished. Fair enough, and finish. All right. So yes, I know that you were sneaking around. I was told. And I know that there's a chance that something was messed with. And I know, like I had just said, that you are pl plotting to put Annabelle on the throne instead of Maholia. And the reason I am bringing this up with this is if you are worried... Do you really want the threat of two wars on your hands? Because I, I know what happened with the winter. And if you're worried about his safety, if he is under mermaid citizenship, he will be safe. He has a tail. He will be safe. But if you refuse my demands, the elves will be cut off. The lines will be over. I will declare war. I will announce what I know to the public. And there will be punishment of the highest form. Which is in the Mermaid Kingdom, death. That is a lot to digest. Yes. I have questions. Am I allowed to speak them? Yes. So you said you caught me sneaking around the Mermaid Festival, but I don't believe that that is particularly written as illegal in your laws? It is if you went into any of the rooms which I do have proof of which is Ziff caught you at the festival well, Ziff did indeed catch me but he I was not in a room I was in open water, and I'm sure if you asked him, he would say the same. Do you have proof of that? You were sneaking around the Mermaid Kingdom, unaccompanied, and God knows what you did. Well, I can assure you I was not at the castle. Again, is it proof of that? Well, there's not any proof that I was in the castle. I was, I was told that somebody overheard a conversation you had that you were, in fact, in the kingdom. Somebody eavesdropped and heard. But, like I said, I have info as well that you are trying to put Annabelle on the throne. Yes, I would very much like to see this proof, or at least have you read it out. I will not mind. show it to you, but I will read it out. After hearing word of Princess Marina's fear of Lady Annabelle possibly taking over the Elven Kingdom, and eavesdropping on Princess... Uh, excuse me. And eavesdropping on Princess Marina's meeting with Lady Be Annabelle herself, I fear that she may not have been unfounded. I have discovered that Chancellor Kano, Lady Annabelle, and Lord Ain are currently in the process of defeating the Elven Laws, the oldest child, regardless of proper lineage, to take the throne. Holia, 
this is power and I was told to take this information as I chose and, and this is how I'm choosing it if you do not have Anthony Mary Marina these are my terms these are my demands actually alright if that's the case then then my personal request would be why this, can't, why, this, why? this simply the punishment is understandable. If you don't like these things, that's up to you. This information obviously was used as a tactic to try and get to us. But I don't see how marrying Marina off to Anthony is going to change any of those things. Because if you do not, you will have the war of probably two kingdoms. Most likely two kingdoms on your hands, and you do not want I would actually like to inform you that the conflict between Lorelia and I has been resolved. The elves and the winter are- That does not aren't... change my mind. You will have war with us if you do not do what I am Why, Anthony? Why not- Oh- Prince Frost, or one of the Seraphs, or one of the Netherians. Why Anthony specifically? It makes the most sense. We're already aligned. It would make perfect sense for there to be a union. I see. So. Don't you agree? I. So what you're proposing is you want this to be I'm inconspicuous. No, what I'm saying is that you're threatening us with this. And giving it to us specifically because of the fact that we would be the least conspicuous people to have this be done to. Am I right? You could take it that way if you really chose. I see. These are de my demands and I will not change them. So basically what you're saying is that you want to pair Anthony and Marina or war. Consider it a pact of your <laughs> And more. Not... Not it even would... that. It wouldn't just be war. It would be subject to receive the highest form of punishment in the Mermaid Kingdom. Well, which is death. I'm not a subject of your kingdom. I would not go willingly if that is what you would assume. My rules say anybody. I know, but it would mean war. I wouldn't just hand myself over. This is what will happen. Marie and Anthony will marry. I or everything becomes public. And you will receive punishment. If not. Understood. We have uh, received your ultimatum then, and we will need some time. You don't have to take it as such. Well, you're certainly giving it like one, so we're going to take it as an ultimatum. We'll make the appropriate moves. We will figure out a way to ensure that Anthony will make Marina's acquaintance. At the very least, is there a way we can make this process smoother for both of them. Yeah, I want to add on top of that, how do you wish to proceed with this? Do you want them married tomorrow? The very sooner the better. You don't have a set date or plan? Be. You just want it to be guaranteed? We could do a year from now? That seems a little long for me. Well, then tell us what you want if you have these conditions that lead to a, a possible week, war. A week from now, a little over a week from now, I will be hosting a mermaid ball. It'll they will get married there. At the, at the ball? Actually, no. Let's do the day before. And then they can at the ball. That'll be what we'll do. 
It'll be the day before the ball. They will get married. We will announce the joyous news to everybody. So, let's just put it this way. 90% of people will be. Okay. And they could be. And if not, you know, that would also be a very good place where everybody is there. Information could get shared. Will get shared. I see. So you're saying if the marriage does not go through the day before, then you will... You're threatening to share information you have against us with what little proof you do have at the ball. If not, the alliance will be broken and there will be war. And I will have my knife. Okay. Anthony, with they when they are married, completely safe. You have my word. Well, that's very good to hear, especially considering the situation we're in. I suppose it's worth noting as well, then, if this is the case, if when this goes through, will then nothing change? in terms of the information that's kept. What you... When this goes through, will our alliance remain the same? And will the information you possess still remain in your possession? Or will it be forgotten? When Anthony and Marina do marry, the alliance is intact. I will not break it. You can consider the information I have. If you do not, they will be married. But if you decide, not, all of what I listed above will happen. Right. And does, I'm sorry. Does Marina know about this? Has she agreed to such an arrangement? Yes. I see. Well. Then I suppose we will need to return to our kingdom to settle matters and get things coordinated. Yes. Oh, so. Yes. Is there anything else you wish to discuss with us at this time? I have said everything I needed to say. All right. Um. Well. Hmm. All right then. Then I suppose we will be off. Would you do at least do us the uh, courtesy of escorting us back to the waystone? Of course. Well, okay, no, we have warp stones. We can just... I I know. I, I would like to walk back. Okay. If you want to go back to yourself, then I will let Jonah escort me. Mm, I'm not going to leave you here by yourself. All right. Jonah, may I ask you yes. a question? Yes. Do you agree with this arrangement? I agree with whatever my princess says. Funny, because... I think you would make a very interesting heir. Anyways, thank you for walking us back to the Waystone. Yes, thank you. Um, circumstances were different, Jonah. It'd be nice to talk with you. Um, yes. 
if you wish to discuss any further bits with this, then let me know. Thank you. I am... I'm... I'm actually the most angry I think I've ever felt before. I... There's something that Coral told me. Okay. That I think she may have forgotten that I had known about. Oh. I really wish I said something. I said a little bit of a hint to Jonah, and I think he ca caught on to it. Let's discuss in the... Okay. We need... There's a lot to discuss. Yes, I indeed. don't feel terribly threatened with the information that she has on us. No, because all that was there is, is what we've already talked about. Um, I I knew about you sneaking because you've talked about it before. They know that yeah. I've sneaked, but they don't, don't, they don't know that I've entered the castle. No. Yes, I did, no. but she has a rumor. You can't use rumor as evidence that I had done something. Precisely. And the evidence that she has about oh, me, yeah. Annabelle, and Anthony, well, yes, it's evidence, but it's exactly what we've talked about already. We were yes. planning to change the laws on purpose, and you and I even had a further discussion about that and what the implications Yes, and I had another discussion with Annabelle to clarify that we had that discussion because right. you know been, yeah so it's, nobody in the else no intention will... to try and overthrow you but so like... but even if things are not true announcing such a threat in front of an entire realm um correct it would make us look bad at the very least saying for a moment i don't remember what i was saying and i don't remember when you Sorry. didn't say okay i the threat of saying those things to a group of people who do not know all the information that we know could yes not be great um especially well first of all i don't want a war i literally just I know. I just resolved not having a war with another kingdom. I don't know why everyone wants to go to war with the elves all of a sudden. I feel partly responsible. But... Well, not your fault. If it, anything, it looked like Princess Quarrel was looking for an excuse. I and agree. She, and as I noted, it, it to makes me she seemed, upset. She seemed very keen on wanting to do this in a way that seemed inconspicuous to other kingdoms. She did not deny that claim. I'm sure it's not the only reason, but she chose us because it's convenient for her. And that I don't like. I, yes, that's what, that's why I'm angry. I'm not shocked more. I'm angry about how it was done. And to threaten us to war just so that she could marry and have our alliance. Why would you threaten an alliance? It, but right. obviously we don't want to go to war and I do want Anthony to be married off so he doesn't have to worry about Princess Lorelia but oh, I don't want it to be in this way I don't want her especially I don't want him to be in a kingdom that has threatened us they can say they'll keep him safe however they want to but I don't like it I don't like their captain, and I don't like how they threatened us. No, this 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 puts for me this puts into question our alliance we had in the first place. And this is how we choose to treat the people they're allied with. And the information that I wa mentioned earlier, I just didn't want to say it outside because I did promise that I would keep it a secret. But now that they've threatened war against the elves, I don't, I'm not feeling generous anymore. Right. Coral told me a secret at this princess sleepover. It was a truth or dare. 
I gave her grace. I told her to tell a secret that nobody else knew about. And I said she could whisper it to me secretly so that nobody else would know. <laughs> Apparently, Jonah, her advisor, is her brother. And that is why I made the comment about him making a good heir. Oh. So he now knows that I know that information. Wow. Interesting. And based okay. on the look on his face when I said that, I think he knows that he is the and possible heir to the throne as well. Indeed. Which is interesting that she'd be rushing to get Marina married off so quickly. Is, is that, that why? She's to excise Jonah completely from the royal bloodline? I don't know. I don't know what's happening over there. I don't know why they're keeping that a secret. Right. Unless there's something... I don't know. Obviously, you don't know enough, but... I don't know if that's enough to nullify their threat. Probably not. No. They'd probably still want war. I just... I, I just... I can't... best move unfortunately is going to have to be to cooperate to an extent my only concern is that we can't control Anthony and we know what he's like um, if he knows about this I doubt he'll stick around he would probably run away so I think we may have to keep this a secret from him keep it a secret from him like, when do we tell him? The day of the wedding? <sighs> I... My only worry... I hate you for saying this. I hate you for saying this. Is if... If we tell him, he will leave. We will have no choice but to tell the mermaids that he is not around. They'll threaten us with war. You don't know that. He might... If he knows that there's a threat of war, he might... Be willing. But I hate it. I hate... Him being married off for this reason. <sighs> I hate it so much. Ugh. Well, as your advisor, I would say that we need to think about the kingdom first. As a friend, I know. I have a very different response. Then what? Well, I agree with you that we should tell Anthony about this and, I don't know, convince him, weigh his thoughts. We could certainly allow ourselves to get to war with the mermaids. I mean, we could be hypothetical at first, be like, if we could make it, maybe if I didn't, I did tell him I would arrange a meeting with Estelle, but maybe if I said that I changed my mind and that I thought Marina was a better match for him. I don't know what we he would say. That. And I uh, could make it sound we... like it was my idea. And therefore, if he doesn't know the threat about war and that I am doing this for his safety to keep him safe from Lorelia, maybe he will comply. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate that I'm even having this conversation. Well, we don't have to do anything about it now. At the very least. They said they're having a ball next week. Correct. A week and a half. It's not much time. I'm simply saying we don't have to act. They want them to marry the day before. Oh. I... You know, as much as it pains me, maybe it's maybe it's worth us trying to do some information digging up of our own. That's why I want to know more about Jonah being an heir. I did ask him um, if he'd be interested in talking. Perhaps he and I can have a conversation, advisor to advisor, and uh, I can see what can be done. 
if anything. And perhaps nothing. Uh, again, we're all loyal to our own kingdoms, but if he has a stake in this, perhaps I can find something out that can at least offer us better protection. Yes. As for Anthony, I think I'm going to entrust that to you, personally. Not that you need my permission, but... Yes, I... I think you're best suited to do it. I will hate every second of it, but I will all do it. Well, on the good side, um, at least we can still marry Annabelle off to uh, Lady Karma. That's it. That is that. if the relationship. I don't want to force two siblings into arranged marriages if I can help it. Right. So we don't have to. If their relationship I develops, I will leave that up to Annabelle on what she decides. Understood. I wish I could do the same for Anthony, but. Perhaps, uh, perhaps we can. We only have so much time, and we have to make a choice to uh, take care of business the best we can. But beyond that, we will just do uh, do our part. Yes. Um. I think I may retire. I am feeling a little ill. Well, if you need me, let me know. If you don't, I will find you and make you tell me what you're doing. What does that even mean? I'm, I'm trying to say things that a friend would say. You know, that, you know, I will be here for you as an advisor, but I'll, if, as your friend, if you don't talk to me, I will come find you and make you tell me what's going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> Maybe we should sign you up for a class. How to be friends with people. <laughs> I, I can make friends. It's more you different. have admitted before that you have no friends. So that's I funny. I have Fang. And <laughs> he's a lovely friend. Ha! Huh. How often Why do you... are you laughing at that? Because how often do you and Fang hang around together? We're busy. We have different things. We've got jobs. We, we're both advisors. We don't have the chance to just willy-nilly come together and talk. I think I've seen Fang more than I've seen you. Well, then you know, perhaps that's due to other things. Not, 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 uh... I, I really can't explain that. I've had things to do. So. Okay. Anyways. You go retire. I mm -hmm. will let you know that I'm caring about you and I think about you. So, don't thank go... You. Don't go thinking you're alone. Yes, thank you for being here for that and I'm not sure what I would have done if I was there alone by myself well I'm glad you worked me too all right all right well, good night melody good night Kano <sighs> can you give me a break one break. I have literally offered my life. I have sacrificed everything. And you still... <sighs> I don't know... I do not want to leave this world. I don't want to leave Anthony in this world with a war. I hate the idea of him being in the Mermaid Kingdom. Not with Ziv, not with Princess Coral, not with Marina. I... What to do?
anyone is listening, if anyone at all, please, please, Go find him. Uh, I need to. Of course, it's raining. Isn't that perfect? I need an anvil. Where do we even keep anvils? Let's go to Kano's room. I'll check his bedroom. <sighs> See in this room. Hello? Oh, Kai, I didn't know you were here. Um, are you two in a group? Okay. Well then, hold on just one minute. Hello? Hello. Okay, that's better. Hello? I can hear you now. Um, Kaya, I have something to discuss with Anthony privately. Okay. I think we should create a group. Um, okay. Um, I have news of your, uh, future arrangements. The thing you just kind of said and then walked off? Yes. I, uh... You will be married to Princess Marina next week. Next week? Yes. And I don't get a say in this? Um... I I want you to have a say in it, but uh we don't really have any other choice. And what if I refuse? Um then Coral will kill me. Did I'm... something happen in between the two days that we didn't talk? Princess Coral asked Kano and I 
to come to the Mermaid Kingdom to have a meeting. And she threatened um, to execute me for my crimes against the Mermaid Kingdom if we did not agree to this union. You're talking about when we changed the books? They don't know. What's strange about this all is that they don't know that we changed the books. She just knows that I was snooping, but doesn't have any proof. It was odd. Kano and I discussed it. But she did threaten war and my life if we did not agree to this arrangement. And you don't want to fight back? Is that what you want me to do? No. You want, you want me to start a war to... between us and the mermaids? I don't want you to die. And you want me to go zip? With him all over there all the time? He was the person we were actively trying to avoid. I don't think he has anything against you. They only have things against me. They don't know you were involved. They know nothing about your involvement. You were never seen. How were you seen? Sif, uh, saw me. Well, at the festival, but not snooping through the castle. Well, I know. But apparently me snooping around the festival is what Coral deems... I don't know. I questioned her about it as well. I wasn't so sure why she was... <sighs> but whatever I did, whatever she knows and is withholding, she is using it as a threat to make this union with you and Marina. Basically blackmailing you? Yes. Does Marina know about this? I don't. I think so. I haven't talked to her personally about it, but Coral says that she is aware. So is next, what's going to happen after I get married? I, they, uh, you will live at the Mermaid Kingdom, and we'd find a way to make you a mermaid, probably. No offense to the mermaids, but that's like the hardest way to live. I know it's not. It's not what I imagined for you either. I was ready and prepared to talk to Princess Rain. What do you, what do you want me to do? I... There's no point... I feel like there's no point in going to war over it. Because it won't... Even if we do defeat the Mermaid Kingdom, it still won't save my life. Not if you go into hiding. I'm sick of going into hiding. I'm sick of running away from death. So you will either, you will either marry her or I will turn myself in. I guess a wedding is next week. Yes. I'm 
sorry. I, I really... I don't think I could kill... I don't think I could kill any of the mermaids. Even if it were a war. I don't think I could do it. We're taught that life is precious as elves. But if we protect the lives of animals and not the lives of others like us, then what what is the point of us valuing life so much? I see what you mean. And I don't... I don't wish for you to be unhappy. I don't know what else to do, Anthony. There is nothing you can do. But I could give my life. If you truly do not want a life with her, I could give it. We're not stooping that low. Just tell me what you want, and I will try and make it happen for you. I'll marry Marina. Is it truly okay? Are you truly okay with that? We just have to adjust, right? this yet. You already know how she's going to react. I know. I wanted to talk to you first. I did consider if you told me to go to war, I would, but I just don't know how I would. War has never happened before, so... I've never been a part of a war. We don't want to be the first. It would ruin our reputation. I don't freaking care about our reputation. I just... I don't want to kill anyone. So... I will inform... Princess Coral, that we are accepting this arrangement. Understood. I'm sorry. It's my fault. All of this is You're my fault. You can't. It would have been us. It would have been a stealth if I didn't screw up the alliance with the Mermaid Kingdom, and then needed to go back and change it. I could have done it a different way. You were doing what's best for the kingdom. I know, but now you have to pay for it. It's not like Marina's that bad. She's a nice person. <laughs> I just want you to be happy. Do you think you could be happy with her? It's like being adopted into a new family. <laughs> yeah. I will, it'll grow with time. Will I ever 
be able to hang out with you guys again? Of course. It's not like you'll be banned from the Elven Kingdom. You'll just be a part of another. Wait. Theo and Marina, what, what's going to happen to them? I don't. I'm not sure. But they were not destined to be together anyways. That's going to break their hearts. I know. Marina would have to abstain from the line if she wanted to marry a non-royal, unless it was an arranged marriage quarrel deemed fit, but an arranged marriage between an elven commoner and a mermaid princess is not exactly a beneficial one. Although Theo is pretty wealthy. But I diplomatically wise it doesn't create a union between the mermaid and the elven kingdom. And that is what Coral wants. I'm not sure why. Actually, no, I know exactly why. Because the mermaids can only be in the water. They can only be strong in the water. They need someone out of water in case an enemy were to create war. Shoot! I'm just Would putting together. No, I'm just putting together pieces. Oh. Oh my god, I just had a revelation. Explain. Morgan wants Ziff's head. Yeah. I don't know if Morgan said threatened war. I don't I doubt she would have, but I'm sure Coral thinks that if she refuses to give Ziff's head, then it would start a war. If Coral plans to go to war with the Nether Kingdom, she wants the Elven Kingdom un in a union with but we're in a union with we're in an alliance i don't know if she knows that we just signed we just signed it oh gosh i don't this know it's very confusing uh, i understand but at the same time it's like all like mixing together but maybe maybe you could be a good influence on marina maybe you could how so well, maybe you could convince her that it's not going to war with the Netherians is not a good idea. Even if well, the elves... Does she have a say in that? I, she's heir to the throne. She's first in line. You two, if Coral dies, you two would be the ones who would rule. Okay. Um. Do you think we should tell Coral that we have an alliance with the Netherians? I don't. Netherians? Yeah. Um. I don't think it well, matters. I don't. I, don't I really don't think it matters. It's not like I know she's going to plan war, but I'm just speculating. I'm just having a revelation that this is what could this could be about. I didn't ask about it when she, at the meeting. I was kind of shocked, to be honest. So, I, uh... Was Kaya there? No. It was just Kano and I. Oh, shoot. Oh. Kaya doesn't know about it. You do know Marina has a child, technically. Marina has a child? Sil? Oh, the adopted. Yeah, well, that's... Yeah. I think Theo's... He's living with Theo. So... Um, yeah, because Netherians can't survive in water. Netherians. N say it to with Nether me. Netherians. Netherians? There you go. Elven kingdom. Elven <laughs> Sorry. Elven Kingdom. Yes. Um uh, I 
I forgot what we were talking about. I got distracted by your netherins. <laughs> netherins or whatever you said. Um... Kaya doesn't know. I don't, no. I don't know if Theo knows. Should we tell him? Uh, well, I don't know if this is a secret. Should I be keeping this a secret? This is... <sighs> Shoot. Yes. Yes! Please! I think this wedding is a secret. I mean, I didn't want to keep it a, a secret. secret. You need wedding? to know that you needed to get married. They don't want to announce the marriage until after it happens. They want you to get married with Marina secretly. Probably Kano, I, Coral, Jonah, maybe a night or two. I, I will request that Ziff will not be there. Okay? Okay. And also Ziff's... Ziff's... Morgan plans to deal with Ziff, so I don't think you have to worry about him being in the Mermaid Kingdom. She's taking forever. <laughs> I think it's because of Lena. Oh. Because Lena oh. is friends. So. Yeah. Um. Anyways. Um. Yeah, this they want they're having a mermaid ball next Friday. And they want the wedding to happen before that so that they can announce the wedding publicly or they can announce the marriage no. publicly at the wedding. No. I hate balls. I also am a little apprehensive to it, but um it's that or war. So This feels like Annabelle announcing herself all over again. Well, at least I'm in on this one this time. Yeah, but, but Annabelle isn't. I will tell her. I plan on telling her. I'm not keeping this one a secret from her. I'm not t letting her. I'm not going to let her shut herself in her room while her brother is being sent away to a different kingdom. That's another okay. thing. Um, there's this race for the task. I was debating whether I was going to do it or not, but I think maybe it would be good for us to have some fun. And maybe we can promise each other to not even think about what will happen after it and just enjoy some good elven fun together. Can I be a spectator? And be like, go, go, Melody, go. I'm not, I'm not racing. Oh, oh but you're not racing. <laughs> I wasn't planning to, because okay. I'm hosting. Um, we can be spectators together. Yes. <gasps> Ooh. I, I was, I was debating on whether, <laughs> what prize, like, what could be a first prize, and in my head. I just came up with a <laughs> whoever wins first place gets a kiss from Anthony. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> or myself. That would be juicy. Ooh. Um I don't Ooh. know. That would be juicy. That would. Kinda, but then also I don't for you. <laughs> what? I'm thriving for you. Yeah, I would be really scared though if certain people won. Um Oh, oh yeah. <sighs> Depends who's participating. So I and I feel like I wouldn't want to offer my kiss up. I'd rather offer yours. So <laughs> offer Annabelle's. She would hate me. She would never I forgive know. me ever again. <laughs> but maybe I shouldn't since now you're technically engaged. That would have been so fun. Because apparently you're an eligible bachelor. I don't know. Everybody wants you. You should probably feel that good about strange. that. I guess. <laughs> um. Anyways, yes. This Sunday. Sunday night. We will host that. Um, and let's just enjoy it. Together. 
I think you should tell Annabelle first. Yes, um, I will. Um, uh, I'll, oh, maybe I'll wait for that conversation later. Um, what? I was just gonna say some emotional feelings, things, and I don't know if maybe I should just wait so that we can just concentrate on the race and try and enjoy stuff together before uh, before you have to go. Man, I don't want to be a full mermaid. <laughs> that oh. sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> I'm sorry. Out of all the kingdoms. Okay, well then, do you? What do you want me to do? Sorry, Shoot, sorry, sorry, Coral. Sorry. No. I was just ranting. I know it's not ideal. Sometimes being a royal, we have to make sacrifices. And I, this is the last thing I would have wanted for you. I hope you know that. I only considered you and Estelle because you told me you could imagine you being married to her. What if I get married to Estelle before the mermaid? I think nothing will change. I think war will still happen. You died for a second. I don't think anything would change. I think war would still happen. Oh, okay. Um, on the better note, uh, did you end up selling all those books? I did. Um, I, c I will have a master copy if you wanted a copy. Yes. Okay. Let me go get I it. I want to read it. Um... I forgot that this is just the easier way to do it. Can I be there when you talk to Annabelle? If I'm around? Uh, if you want to. I mean, technically it is about you. Uh, okay. Oh, I need a book and quill. I'll have to go to Theo's. I have money on me. Would I still be allowed in the nether if I become a fish? Would you still want to go to the nether? Oh, would that like be even worse for me? Oh, uh, I don't... I don't know, I don't... I've never heard of a mer Well, apparently there has been a mermaid in the nether. So they can survive. They can't... I right think out. they can survive. They've just... You have to have like an unlimited supply of water breathing potions, which I'm sure would be extremely dangerous. But why would you want to be in the Nether specifically? Because if you're um, you taken, you... oh, <laughs> you're not going on dates with Lena and Karma if you're taken. If you're married, no more friends for me. Don't turn into our father. Ill. Never. Oh, why did we go all the way down here? <laughs> Sorry, not telling Theo. Okay. He rearranges his shop very a lot. Okay. Here you go. Yay. 55 pay. Okay. It's, a sh <laughs> it's still a short read. Oh, normal books are like 300 pages. Oh. In Minecraft? Actually, in Minecraft, it'd probably be closer to 1,000. <laughs> do, you, do you ever plan on telling Theo before? 
No, I don't feel like that's my place. I feel like that would be, have to be Marina. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm betraying Theo. I would hope that he always knew that she would have to be married to a royal. Yeah, he should know that. I feel like I remember us having a conversation with him when he said that he was dating her that yeah i'd be like it it might not end well because you know she in order to make a union between kingdoms she has to marry another royal so i i would hope that theo never forgot that but he might have But do we wear to, uh, weddings? Um, I'm not even sure. I don't even know where the wedding will be. Um, we have to figure, we have to plan that out. I guess I'll just wear my normal outfit to show I'm not interested. <laughs> Since you're becoming a mermaid, we might do traditional mermaid outfits. And oh. have it at the Mermaid Kingdom. Uh, okay. How are they gonna survive at the ball? I thought we took away all their water breathing. The ball is at the Mermaid Kingdom? Where there's conduits? Oh, they survive a bubbly Wait, What do you mean conduits? we took all their water breathing? I thought we weren't giving them water breathing potions anywhere. They don't need it. There's conduits. They haven't been using them. They haven't been using potions at all. They survive on land with conduits. Conduits. <laughs> yeah. There's a conduit oh, okay. here because of the elven ball. There's a conduit at Lena's spa. There's conduits at the cove. There's conduits everywhere. And... Okay. So I just can't go adventuring on land. Well, yes, and you're a royal. You should definitely bring someone with you. Especially if you're going to be married. Probably Marina. She's adventurous. You guys, she might be able to show you a little more of the world. Okay. I want to see you less and not know about all the El Evelyn tea anymore. Elvin. Elvin T. Yep. Elvin T. Elvin T. Elvin T. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll, uh, I'll miss you. But, um. So I won't be able to help out you guys anymore. <sighs> what do you mean, help out? Like, when you guys are struggling with other kingdoms and need advice and stuff? You will have a duty to your new kingdom. Okay. And the shark above your head, I mean, it seems like you're, uh... Already ready. No, I I jinxed it. I manifested it. I got this from a traveler, the wandering villager. I used emeralds. You I used it. My all of our <laughs> emeralds. It was only like eight. Oh okay. Um. I'm gonna. I have some things to write um, in my office. I will. I'll come get you if you're still around for when I'm going to talk to Annabelle. Okay. Okay.
I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. It'll be good for him to move on in a different kingdom with different I don't know if it's the smartest one but uh, hopefully he will be happy um, I do need to write this I'm gonna go to my office I think it may be time to uh, talk to Annabelle. I'll have to um, finish this. Hello. Let's maybe talk uh, inside the castle. All right. Nothing. Hello. Hello. Are you staying here for this? Yeah, I was tracking down Annabelle to tell her about the book. Oh. I didn't know you guys were talking. We haven't started yet. Okay. Okay. I just informed Anthony about this, and I felt like it was fair for you to know about it too, since it has to do with his future. His future? Yes. Have you figured something out about the Winter Kingdom situation? Or. Oh, yeah, that. Um, that, that. Yeah, that is... It's taken care of. I made a deal with Princess Lorelia. Just a deal. I swore to not tell anyone about it. But I'm here and alive and well, aren't I? So everything is fine. Wouldn't... Why, why would you have to keep the secret? She asked me to. So she's not going to do anything about it? She doesn't know... I did not say anything about you. She still is thinking it's this Andrew elf that I'm protecting. Anyways, we don't have to worry about that. She's left the ban. Mm -hmm. Elves are now allowed back on winter territory. Um... Actually, this has to do more about, um, the future between the Elven Kingdom and the Mermaid Kingdom. Why the Mermaid Kingdom? I thought we were on... Aren't we on good standing with them? They wish for Anthony to be married to Princess Marina. Um, no, why? Um, because they will declare war on the elves if we do not agree to such an arrangement. Why war with the elves? What did we, why, what did we even do to the mermaids? I understand why. 
I understand why the Winters have a grudge, but I don't understand about the mermaids. I thought, or, I was just there a couple of weeks ago, having a meeting with Marina. It seems like they're trying to find excuses to threaten us about it. My guess is that with High Lady Morgan on Coral for Ziff breaking Netherian law, she feels threatened and wants to make sure that we would fight with the mermaids no matter what. And an, and a marriage alliance would ensure that. Despite what the Alliance documents say. Okay. I... But I don't... I don't know. I don't want to force Anthony to do anything that he doesn't want to do. It's his life, his marriage. He should be able to choose that for himself. Yes, and I agree. What could they... What do they have on us? What are they threatening us with? Is it just because of Ziff or is it because of something else? Well, the uh, threats that she... Um, well, Kano was with me at this meeting. Um, she saw me at the festival and was threatened by that. I'm... I don't believe I did anything illegal in that retrospect. They don't have any proof that I ever entered the castle, but she's got a strong inkling that I have, which she would not be wrong, but they just don't have any proof of it. So it's strange to me that they would bother... What? You went inside the castle at the Mermaid Festival? No, not at the Mermaid Festival. That was a separate time. I... So that's why I'm confused on why she would bring up such a smaller thing. I was simply just hiding at the mermaid festival because I didn't want to be seen or talked to about the recent events at the ball. I didn't, I wasn't actually doing anything illegal at that moment in time but she's using that as she thinks that I did but also she thinks Kano is plotting you to take over the elven throne okay Uh, and and what proof does she have of that because the only conversations I've had with Kano about that at all or about the law that apparently doesn't exist that I didn't know doesn't exist exactly and these are all things that I questioned during the meeting and yet she did not budge and she wants war if I do not agree to such a thing that just do you think it would think so for if I go over and directly talk with them myself I mean before I I spoke with Marina a couple weeks ago like I said we had like a little meeting and she wanted to talk to me because apparently I intrigued her at the ball she was asking I don't know I felt sketched out by the conversation it was I, I already told Anthony this but it was just me and Kaya were there, and she, Marina was just asking me all sorts of questions. Very, very personal questions about myself. Like, about the... Like, about, like, me and my... And, like, about the... About the affair that your father had with my mother, and about my relation to you two, and all this sort of... Like... I don't know. I just don't. I don't feel good about it. I don't want to force Anthony to do something else that he doesn't want to do. Well, Anthony, what do you want to do? If I don't agree, then Melody will die. And I told him that I would give up my life if that would mean he would continue happiness 
of his own free will. Oh, that's not happening. Well. I don't know you as well as you did Molia, but I don't want you dead. I don't want anybody dead. I don't want anybody to... I also have don't to want... make this sort of decision. I don't know what to do. If Anthony's willing to, I guess, but... It's not up to you or me anymore. I gave Anthony the options. I said I'd go to war. I can't imagine myself killing anyone, but I wouldn't if he wanted me to. No. No worries or anything is, or is gonna happen. No one's dying. So you're just going to marry Marina? If it's the only option, yes. Well, what are our other options? Because right now I see I three. Marina. You marry Marina, you don't, and we go to war, and several, multiple people may die. Or I answer for the crimes they think I have committed. I'm not really sure what alternative there is. Anthony did mention if we just hurried a marriage between him and Estelle instead, but I think that would still cause for war. I mean, yeah, if we hurried for that wedding. Estelle, wait, hold on. You wanted to marry Estelle? We went on a date together. Did you like the date? Maybe. Okay. If we hurried the wedding for them, for you and Estelle, then that would just put us in a terrible situation. I don't think the Seraphs have that many people who would be willing to go to war, even if they were in. I'm not. Yeah, I'm us. not sure that would be a good selling point to Rain. If I said, "Hey, let's marry our heirs together," but that may cause us to go to war with the mermaids. I'm not sure she would agree to yeah. such a union. I don't think that's... I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, if you want to look at the bright side, maybe you'll like Marina. Marina's not a bad person. It's just being a mermaid is the issue for me. Well, I mean, we could always... Doesn't it work both ways? Couldn't Marina come here? I don't think that's what... An option. Why, n why not? They want Anthony to come to the Mermaid Kingdom. Why do they want Anthony to go to the Mermaid Kingdom? Anthony's been here all along. He's been fine. He's alive. He's... I don't know. I don't know what Coral's planning, but... I think she wants Marina to be grounded a little bit at the kingdom have a reason well, to learn how to rule marrying someone off why couldn't they just give a law class like me and Kano did I don't know I am not Coral okay this is not something I told her to do she did not ask for my advice alright this is just something that she Is there anything that we could negotiate with them, or is it just straight up either do what I we say or what? I could. Every time I would bring up a su suggestion, she would cut me off and say that there will be war. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's freaking great. Okay. I'm, not really I'm just trying to figure a way out. I, I, that's all I'm doing right now. I just... I don't want him to have to do it, but if he's willing to... I already agreed. Okay. So, um... Uh, the marriage will be... The wedding will be in a week. That soon? Yeah. 
That's okay. I'm holding a event this Sunday, a race. Um, mm -hmm. for the task, it's not something that I'm just planning. If I needed to do it for the task, so it was in the back of my mind. And now, since all of this has happened, I think we may need an excuse to forget about all of this. So we can make a pact to uh, not even talk about it that day and just enjoy being siblings, the three of us. I mean, if that's what you want to do, we can just never speak of it again then. I'm not saying never speak of it. I'm just giving us a day to mm. not talk about it and just enjoy a drama free fun event. So we can just have a good memory together, the three of us. Perhaps the last memory of us together. Oh. Shh. We can still... It's not like... You are banned from the Elven Kingdom, or us from the Mermaid. I don't think they would do that, hopefully. Um, oh, if they do, I'm starting war. <laughs> Either way. I... We will be able to visit each other. Obviously, you're going to be busy with mermaid matters, but uh, that doesn't mean we are disallowed from meeting. But uh, I definitely think we should take advantage of the time, however short it is that we have. Um, Anthony, I don't wish to exclu exclude you, but I do have something privately to talk to Annabelle about. Um, maybe, uh, if you could do me a favor and reach out to Theo, um, about... Uh, you know what? You can reach out to Theo for me for a new bow. I also need to know an update on my armor. But also, do you, do you ever get armor from Theo? I did not. Okay, then also ask him about that as well. I'll pay for it. Okay. Is this your way of keeping me busy so I don't eavesdrop? Yes. <laughs> Go away. In fact, to ensure it, let's make a group. I know all your passwords. No, I'm changing it. <laughs> Gotta come up with something good. Mm. One, two, three, zero, four. You'll never guess this one. <laughs> oh no, I just have to remember how to spell that, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. It's just both of our names together. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I did. I was like, oh, I gotta, I can't do password. I can't do hi. Can't do one two three four three two four one. Oh, uh, four three two one. Okay. Anyways, I know I have talked to you already about how you feel 
about ruling the kingdom. Right. And I just want you to be prepared that the opportunity for you to be ruler of the kingdom is probably coming closer. What do you mean? I told Lorelia that I am not Maholia. This is the information I offered. Okay. She... Did she believe it? Kind of. Um... I... I will abstain from the throne. You're abstaining from the throne? Yes. Is that the condition she has made to not going to war, or...? Yes. Okay. And Anthony isn't gonna even be here to take the throne, so it's just... me. Yes. There's no way to negotiate you keeping you keeping the It was that or my life. And um that or death. Okay. Um Well, we wouldn't want death. Is can you are you could you still remain within the castle? Could you still take up like an advisor position? Could or do you just want to completely let it go? Uh, it's, um, it'll depend. I'm not too sure yet. I don't plan on announcing it until... I'm not going to announce it at the ball. I think there's already far too many announcements happening that night already. Um, mm -hmm. It'll probably happen after that. Have invitations been sent out for the mermaid ball yet, or...? No, I just... They verbally told us that it was their plan for it to happen. Okay. So either way... I, so either way, I'm being forced into the throne, or if I don't want it, then Kano gets it. Correct. Do you trust him enough to... Do you think he could do it? Do you think he's... I don't know. Do you think he would make it, make a good ruler, basically? Do, do you think you, we can trust him with that, or...? I would rather have you. But I don't want to force you. I believe you I'm... could do it. I believe you could be good at it. If... If you believe in me, then I do. Thank you. You're welcome. And as... Um... If you are a crowned princess, you can... You can choose your own advisor. It does not have to be Kano. Kano is technically Maholia's advisor. You have the right to choose. Do you trust Kano as an advisor? Do you think... I don't know. I just... After everything, I still need to speak with him, but... I don't... The... I, I don't- I just the fact that he could keep something like Maholia's death away from us and do it so easily, it just doesn't sit right with me. He did it to protect me. I also kept the secret. I also pretended. I know, but you didn't have much of a choice. He did. I... 
I don't know. Yeah, maybe a conversation is to be had between both of you. I have not yet told him my intentions of abstaining. Okay. Um, if you wish to tell him that information, you may, but I just don't wish Anthony to hear it. I'd rather him be married mm. before he knows. Okay. So we're keeping this from Anthony then? Yes. Okay. Because if you abstain, there's no way he's going to get married to Marina. Correct. I will probably have to have a conversation with Kano soon then. Um, after abstaining, if you would like... If you don't wish to stay within the castle or you're not allowed to, there is a place that you could go. Um, when I left, when we came to this castle, um, I started a little house on the side of, you know, an ocean or whatever. Um, it's within the Elven Kingdom. It's not too far away from the castle, but it's there. Um, it has some resources and materials. It, it is there if you want it. Thank you. You're welcome. There's no waystone to it yet, though. Uh, so, that's something that you might have to figure out. I don't- I have one made, it's just- it's not- uh, <laughs> The ground there is rather hard. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Really? Y you're welcome. I- I just didn't want you to take another risk while- and to enter into another kingdom. I, yeah. So, I just- that might be the best place. If you- Wanted, it's yours. So. Is, um... Is that everything you wanted to speak with me about? Um, yes. Okay. Um... I'll leave you telling Kano about about abstaining to you. I don't want to take that conversation away from you too. Um, I don't know what's going on with you and Kano, but hopefully that conversation will be better coming from you than me, as my conversation with him will not be a pleasant one. Okay. Then I will make an effort to talk to him about it um i just want to point out that uh since anthony will be leaving the elven kingdom that does open a position or an heir mm -hmm. and that could either Maybe. be an heir or that could be a union for you and again there's no rush but i'm just saying there is an opening so you would be able to choose someone to stand by your side if you want or an heir okay um I... again it's not something you're forced <laughs> to do i'm just saying that there the position will be open therefore you know if we're losing an elf we may need more. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll... I'll think about that. I don't know if a union for me is in the pictures. I went on maybe one kind of-ish date with Karma. And we yeah. may have another one planned. Oh. But I don't know. Well... Again, not something 
that is a in a rush for it's just if you had someone in mind that you wanted to bring to the elven kingdom it's an option Okay. I'll think about that then. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to Marion if you want to speak with me further. Okay. 